did I? Could I change your mind? Oh no, but I. What's up, all the way driven family? I'm here to talk about finally the story behind Caught Up the song. If you guys haven't heard it, it's on my YouTube channel slash uh, youtube.com slash ATW Driven Man or soundcloud.com slash all the way drip. Descriptions are in the. No, the link is in the description box. But um, anyway, I'm going to kind of go in a little bit, which sometimes or usually I don't. But um, this particular thing is necessary. Caught up. Now, when I first let um, somebody hear it, they thought caught up, they thought it in reference to being caught up when Jesus returns again. And it's funny they said that because I never actually thought about it that way, but in theory, it actually does make sense. So cool, you know, whatever. But the song is about getting caught up with a man or a woman, you know, dealing with somebody you have no business dealing with to the point where you kind of lose all your senses and you're doing things you ain't never did or never do and all those things that are not in God's will, basically. So last year, I was in a situation ship. My grandma had passed and I had came, my grandma had passed in February and I stayed in Miami from February um, till about May, um, a few days before my birthday. And I started school, you know what I'm saying? I was doing good, I was okay. I was managing all those good things. Um, However, I did eventually meet what well, this young man, he's older than me. He was like, I think he's like 30, 30 something. Anyway, but um, he had a son, whatever situation may be. Um, uh, his son didn't live with him. That has nothing to do with anything, not really. But uh, basically, I found myself. See, this the, see, <laughs> this is why I hate doing videos sometimes because I end up. I don't mind being honest with you guys, but sometimes it's like, uh, I ain't really meant to say that. You never know what, what's going to come out in these videos when you make them. So if you don't make YouTube videos, you you probably don't feel what I'm feeling at this very second. But anyways, um, he he basically had somebody. He had a, a dude at home that lived with him, and they had been together for some years, but they weren't in a relationship. They lived together. So basically, I mean, it was pretty much over. And you know how those things go. It's no different in, um, how would I say it? Uh, I guess it, it is what it is. In the gay world versus the straight world. I mean, they cheat in the gay world. They cheat in the straight world. Same People are people. So it's not a gay situation. It just is what it is. You understand what I'm saying? I was at a different place in my life last year than I am this time. And I want you guys to understand, when I tell you, Stories like that, it's never glorifying the lifestyle. It's just my story. It's my life, and it is what it is. So anyway, um, with situations like that, you never know what's really going on. They could be happy and dandy, and you'll never know why because you don't live with them. So you have to take people at their word. So being the stupid person that I was at the time, I, I kept entertaining him, and all, already I'm getting caught up. You know what I'm saying? And... Like I said before, I'm the type of person, I'm not, I mean, sex is one thing. And I think sex is, I mean, sex is nothing. You know, the sex was good, cool, whatever. Um, and the thing about it is, see, that, that's, that's the thing about it. I knew it was something different in a good way about this young man because every time we met, it was not about sex. You know how some people, you feel like, okay, you gotta have sex, because you're so turned on by him, and or by them, and it's, it was nothing wrong with him, but I really genuinely feel, felt that I could just chill with him. Like, we used to go to Target, Best Buy, like, we, we went on errands, we ran, we did things. Like, this felt like a ride or die, and I know, for me, that does not happen often at all. You understand what I'm saying? So, when it does, it's like, a big turn on it's like I pay attention to you you understand what I'm saying so I was like I was really feeling him and obviously I mean he was spending the night and you know uh, not, well not at first because he still had to go back home and get ready for work or whatever he was doing but he was over there every day and that's another part that made it believable about his situation at home because he didn't want to be there because he was always at my house so I mean when he wasn't working it just made sense so I really wasn't tripping but I in the back of my head, I still like, yo, I know I've seen this before. Everything be cool, and then 
one day this person decide, yeah, I want to be together, you know, let's make it work, and then you you got your feelings involved, and it just become a messy situation, and I didn't want to be that, and I know God was already convicting me about it. It's like, yo, you need to leave this dude alone for one thing, and it's just that simple. It don't matter if he's single or not. You have no business messing around with a dude, period. And that's another thing I want to address, if you guys haven't heard me say it before. It's not about somebody being straight or gay, because if you're outside the will of God, it don't matter if you're with a woman or a man. Don't think because you're with a woman and you're a man that that's not going to send you to hell. You understand what I'm saying? So the only thing that matters at the end of the day is whatever is in God's will. Point blank, you know, point blank, period. But anyway, um, it's like I just got caught up. And it's like you start to feel the love and you, you kind of start calling the person baby. And, you know, your heart just kind of melts. And it's like, you just, like, yeah, I like you too. Yeah, yeah. You know, those, <laughs> those type of things. And, um... So, it just got to a point where I was like, yo, I can't do this no more. It's like, I don't know what's going on with y'all. I ain't trying to get involved. You need a chance to heal. Like, I can't be dating nobody that's, in, you know, living with somebody else. That I don't know what's going on over there. And so, that pretty much came to an end. And then, eventually, he ended up back at my house. Saw me walking to Target. You know, it's like all these things that just ha happen by coincidence. And it's life kind of setting you up. But end up getting wrapped up again. And, you know, sometime had passed by. I had eventually moved um, to Van Nuys. And, um, you know, I was over a lot of things going on. I, I was here. I was there. I think I lived two places during the course I had knew him. And um, the last place I had uh, encountered uh the, which, which I made a video about um, I fight a girl was when I was living with these two girls from Florida they was from Fort Lauderdale they well not one girl well only one girl went crazy on me and it was like this whole big thing I ain't gonna really go into that but watch the video I put that in the description box too that I've changed a lot in the last year let me tell you I've grown I'm like super proud of myself all glory to God but anyway um, so it's one of those situations like I gotta get up out of that situation because when people mistreat me or make me feel a type of way like I'm finna get out of pocket, I mean like I gotta put my hands on you, especially being a female, uh, yeah, I gotta get up out of there. And that's really long story short, but when you watch the video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So um, he was my first resort and at this time we had kind of already stopped talking, but you know, it wasn't like stop talking like, you know, like, like we mad at each other, it just was a distance thing. You know, it just kind of fell apart. But, you know, um, a few days turned into a few weeks. Um, ultimately, I think I stayed with him like two months. And this is where the song came in. And I should rewind because I forgot all about the song for a second. In between the time we had stopped talking, God had gave me the song caught up. And I tell you, the words rolled like butter. It was just like, so did I. Could I change your mind? Oh no, but I, you have to do that on your own, own, oh, but you, could you really love me? Things are in the way, but it's okay, now, I guess we'll never tell, cause it's over anyway, hey, <laughs> don't I sound just like the record, but, um, yeah, so um, God had gave me the song, and I already had the music for a while. But you know how sometimes you get the words, you know how the music, you have the music, but you don't have the words. And the words just came, and God gave it to me, caught up. And a lot of people, a lot of Christians, a lot of believers, you know, get caught up in people who ain't even worth it. These not even the Beyonces and the Rihannas of the world. These are like people who don't, who aren't physically attractive that we end up having babies with, who end up. You know, we got to spend money to bail them out of jail. You know what I'm saying? We can take and collect phone calls from jail. Like, people bring all this drama to our lives. Baby mama drama, baby daddy drama. Like, people who ain't even worth it. You understand what I'm saying? And I got caught up with this dude. For what? He was cool and everything. But, see, you have to put yourself in re the stance of reality. The per and it's not to say that the pe those people are bad people. But 
it don't matter what they have to offer you. If you're not in the will of God, you're already in a dangerous place. You understand what I'm saying? You have to love yourself enough to know, though, I ain't going to be nobody's side piece. If I have to sit there and question the situation, you already got the answer. So don't even play yourself. That's just the plain truth. You understand what I'm saying? So forget all of that. What they can do for you, how good they are. If they single, they got a car, they got their own crib. They're responsible. They answer your phone calls. They respond to your texts in a timely fashion. They talk about you. They post pictures of you on Instagram. If it ain't meant to be, it ain't going to last. You'll keep going through the same thing over and over and over for the rest of your life because why? You keep dating the same type of people. You're trying to do things on your own. You don't got enough patience to wait. You don't have enough uh, love for yourself just to be alone. You understand what I'm saying? You have to occupy your time. Just like my um, my ex-best friend. You know what I'm saying? He said, yo, uh, what, did he, what did he say? Uh, oh, he said he, he said he bought a computer. Oh, yeah, I think he said, no. He bought a PlayStation. That's what it was. An Xbox, something like that. To occupy his time so he won't focus on dating or doing the wrong things, getting involved. And that's what we have to do. We have to find a, um, what's the word I want to use? A good distraction. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, you know what I'm saying? Stay away from those type of things. I stay in the studio. I stay writing. I stay re-recording. I stay editing. I stay perfecting my craft. You know what I'm saying? I do know, I know what I know. No, what I say, what I tell you guys. Do what you know how to do and perfect your craft. You know what I'm saying? Every Wednesday, pretty much, I go to the $6 movie. You know what I'm saying? I got my Netflix account. I stay watching movies. Y'all know I eat. Y'all know I cook. I be posting cookies almost every day. So it's like you have to find or stay in church. Like, find some something to do. Stop waiting on a man. Stop waiting on a woman. Stop waiting on this. Go to the gym. Join the gym. Like, get a gym membership. Go back to school. Like, do something, but be patient. Stop rushing everything. Stop trying to date. Just chill. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to preach, but I just wanted to share that story with you guys. And um, that was well over a year ago. I haven't seen him, talked to him, communicated with him, and did no research on him. Y'all guys stop doing that. Stop going to people Instagram, Facebook, trying to figure out who they dating now, what they're doing. Oh, I just want to see if they okay because they ain't checking for you. Forget about them. Move on with your life. When you move on, move all the way on. You understand what I'm saying? So... That's basically what this video ended up being much longer than what uh, I intended it to be. But y'all know I got to get my point across. And my mouth is about as dry. I'm going to start my day. Thank you guys for being patient and watching this whole video. You understand what I'm saying? I got the King of Petty coming up next week. Uh, got some skits, some things going on. So make sure you guys share and retweet and you know all those good things for that particular project thank you to all my 1k subscribers plus thank you for all my new followers on ig welcome to the all the way driven life this is an all the way driven message um be blessed i love you guys stay driven